Okay, so today what we're going to have is a totally fast lunch because I'm going in and out doing videos and just basically living. So we're going to have the Pacific Organic Creamy Butternut Squash Soup, which I had a couple videos back. And we're also going to, I'm going to hide this later, and we're also going to put on some Japanese noodles. And these are already basically cooked. You just drop them in hot water, or in this case, butternut squash soup for two minutes, and they're all ready. Very quick, quick lunch. And I'm telling you, it's going to be delicious. So come and watch how I do this. Okay. Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living. So the first thing we do, I'm trying not to walk on, on, on little joy over here, we open this up. The problem is I've got the dish, feed the dog right here, see? And I keep on walking on her, so she's not very happy with me. Anyway, back to the video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up. I got this at Big Lots, I already mentioned that to you. If you take advantage of their sale, a lot of times you get some really good product. This thing normally sells $354. It has gonna be two cups here, because that's what I measured the first day, it's two cups. Now I didn't shake it, so all the goodness of the soup is gonna be in the last two cups. And what I normally do is I'm gonna put a little bit of water inside of here to get in all the, any remnants that might be. While that's happening, we're gonna put our noodles in right away. It comes out like a square, so I'm just gonna break them apart as I put them in. These are another one of these fast vegan lunches. I'm not sure these, these noodles are really vegan, but I know when I read the, inst the directions, there wasn't any, any added uh, uh, animal products, like milk or cheese or something like that. It's a little gummy, but I like it. But then, you know, I have unusual vegan taste. Okay, so while this cooks on the stove, I'll show you quickly how I eat it for my quick... Oh yeah, we're gonna take care of this. Why leave it in there when you can just pour it in? You see all that little golden liquid coming out? Okay, and then you also wanna make sure that the noodles are in. So we're gonna pick it up. I didn't clean the stove today, I can tell. I'm gonna turn it on. Won't take long, trust me. And then we're gonna make sure that the noodles are underneath the soup because we want those to, and the noodles cook in two minutes, so you don't have much time. Okay, see you in a little bit. Now you don't have to just have it this way. What you could do to make it a little bit different is put in a couple of mushrooms. In fact, why use a knife when I can break it up in little pieces myself easier? Because mushrooms are really good for you. It's a way for you to get vitamin D, say you're a little low in that. If you like mushrooms, that's a one. If you don't like mushrooms, don't put them in. Oh, that was good. I put this one underneath the stove. Let me see if I can get it out. Yeah, lucky there. And then, of course, it'll be the same thing. You'll have to like the noodles. You'll want to make sure that it's underneath the a butternut squash soup. Okay. And that was just two mushrooms I just put in. And they'll give it a little texture and it's a little warm. Oh. I'll lower it down to five, which is medium. Let's see. Yeah, it's getting there. Okay. okay. And these are baby portobellos, my favorite mushrooms. Okay, as soon as it starts to bubble on the top, you know pretty close it's gonna be pretty warm for you. Take your spoon in there, kinda of mix it around a little bit, make sure that all the areas are mixed in, and taste it like this. And it's perfect. Now take her off the heat, and go back to your plate, and pour it on your plate. Now, yes, this is a little bit more than I would, and normally I would share this with Linda, but she's busy, 
this is me just eating this. So what I'm going to do now is try to get that little bit of gold near the edge. I'm making such a giant mess. So, so let's test it. The noodle and the butter, butternut squash and a mushroom. And to be honest, everything tastes like butternut squash. But that's okay. I'm used to some of that flavor. All right. Thank you very much for watching. We look forward to seeing you in our next fast, quick lunch video. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.